Black supremacy, all praises due to the most high King Noble. Uh, thank you to viewers and subscribers for love and support. In this video, I want to talk about uh, universal language. How there is actually no such thing as universal language. There is a way to level up in life, but as far as um, 1 plus 1 equals 2, it, it's a little bit more challenging than that. If you are pretty familiar with my content, I've already touched and hit on this. But I want to explore deeper uh, with y'all so y'all can kind of get a grip of what I am going to share with you all today. It's going to be very enlightening. So uh, prepare yourselves. Maybe grab your notebooks, take some notes. But uh, what I'm going to share with you all today is something where you can kind of level up on life. To where you are no longer uh, distracted. But can be able to fully and completely uh, utilize uh, certain energies around you. And make it work for your benefit. So before you're able to alchemize... One of the major things to know, understand, and understand is that we have unique experiences and circumstances that have kind of molded us into a particular energy that is constantly evolving. We are infinite. So the part of us that is not infinite can actually be demolished through deprogramming. But that is not the avocado of this video. The main focus in this video is exploring why you should stop taking things so personally. Regardless if you feel like you know Regardless if you feel like you do not know, with this video, I am going to give you gold, pure gold, to be able to level up in your life. So, like I said, you might want to grab a pen, grab some paper. Um, you might want to put this on a playlist. You see, I got several playlists of King Noble, you know what I'm saying? But what I've discovered is you must stay focused on this particular meditation that I'm going to share with you all. So when it comes to cir circumstances, situations, and whatnot, we can all agree that we haven't all lived in mansions. We haven't all lived in projects. We have different lives. We haven't all uh, had single parent household. We haven't all had uh, both our parents in our lives. But at the same time, regardless, say we did, say as a race of people, we did all... Uh, have just a single parent to raise us say that we did we are not in each other's body to determine whether we're taking it in as trauma whether we're still healing from it where we're at in healing so the point of this video is uh i feel like the great majority of the world uh and what we see it's shown that we take shit way too personal and we shouldn't I'm going to give you an excellent exam example, a phenomenal example. This is an example that my father used to always tell me and talk to me about. He used to always talk to me about this. So you have your black people who use the nigga, you know. You got your black people who say, well, that came from our oppressor, that we shouldn't say that word. If we say that word, what? Uh, why, why can't the white person say that word? We got a different perspective with that. But... Other black people may use the N-word, you know, for, um, for relativity, for that's my homie, um, that's my uh, hitter. I love that song, by the way. I love that song. <laughs> my hitter. I love that song. I, I thought that was dope instead of using the N-word hitter. I, I honestly, I'm not attached to using that word or not necessarily using that word, but there are certain things I am stuck in my ways about, but... This video is to provide some clarity for to expand your consciousness more. So when you are faced with, uh, 
I guess feeling as if somebody has pissed you off or has upset you, you shouldn't take it personal. You shouldn't take it personal because you don't know what that person internally is feeling inside. Uh, while they might be saying it to you and be off a different frequency inside, but you might be taking it in a different way based off of how you was raised, you know, based off of maybe another person who may have said those exact things and that's the way they meant it. So I feel like with a lot of things, we overcomplicate our lives. Um, one of my great sisters told me that it helps her for to uh, know that not everybody is like her. And after, like I said in one of my other videos, at first I didn't get that shit. I'm like, what? I'm like, what about detaching, detaching from it completely? But that's some, that's some, um, that's some, um, that is some, uh, what do you call it? That's some doctorate degree stuff. So, but universally, it is actually a decent idea for to kind of, uh, just be able to understand, understand that we are all unique. We've all had uh, different situations, circumstances. We all uh, have different responses and reactions. And regardless, and regardless if it is what we think it is, it really is not any of our business. We got more important shit to do. The person who said it, the person who received it, both of those people, they got more important shit to do, you know. So uh, with this video, it's just to kind of keep me focused. It, uh, for those who might feel like they um, might take in certain energies and frequencies, just to kind of still keep focus and just realize that we all communicate differently and uh we might have the uh we we might be more reactionary than what's necessary we might be putting more energy into something than what is necessary i have been guilty of that myself i'll be in my leo shit and somebody could tell me good morning and i, and I, I could be totally in my head in my thoughts about something and it sound like uh fuck you you know so it's like Knowing that, knowing that, and being in the knowing of that, you know, take uh, take an edge off, take an edge off, stop overthinking. Uh, just realize that the only person you can determine sincerely of what's going on is yourself. Uh, you know when you're mad, you know when you're happy, you know when you're sad. You don't really know how the next person is feeling, and even if you really feel or think that you know. Let it go. Don't put so much energy into it. Um, so I definitely wanted to build on that. Um, there were some other things I wanted to talk about. I wanted to talk about uh, communal living. I wanted to talk about communal living. Um, I wanted to talk about the whole Nature Boy situation again. Um, just how... What what it would actually take uh, in order for to gain sovereignty. We have to actually uh, address our pain on site like... We're not going to be able to necessarily get a get get along right right off the top. Like we, it may it may be kind of messed up. Like we might fight because we sincerely do not know each other. The, the only person that we now know the best and that we get along with the best is our oppressor. So being able to understand and overstand from that perspective and being able to grow in that perspective. Maybe that will allow you to expand your consciousness too a little bit further. Uh, just knowing that um, we come from different walks of life. Just knowing that um, while certain things might work with you, it might not work with others. Uh, just staying in the knowing of that. And just kind of keeping that as a meditation or in your back pocket that, hey, you know, I'm tripping. The only way I can check. The only person I can really check is myself because I sincerely do not know. It would be different if you were in your body and in that person's body at the time they were pushed out of their mom's womb. You know what I'm saying? But we really uh, subscribe ourselves to we don't know shit about. You know what I'm saying? Um, that in itself, that's enough reason to kind of stay focused in your energies. Um, just training the mind to be less reactionary. It's not going to happen overnight for you to not be reactionary 
I mean, you might be extremely um, reactionary. 10 out of 10 are reactionary. But keeping it as a focus meditation to not be reactionary, uh, keeping it at a focus to where uh, you know who you are, period. Fuck everybody else. I feel like that, you know, that's good. Um, and it's just like what Key Noble says about becoming a, uh, a machine for Key Noble supremacy. You don't have time for to think about all that extra shit. Uh, um, that's the that's the other beauty of being a part of King Noble uh, Black Supremacy is that uh, just focusing on carrying out out orders and also uh, running your program as actual corporation, just like the uh, how white supremacy has been able to maintain their success, really sincerely fighting for something in your heart, in your soul, really sincerely being able to detach from the life and the matrix and the comfortability of the matrix just um readjusting yourself to uh being comfortable being uncomfortable and etc you know so and this is just in addition to my last video i did about running you know whatever you got going as a corporation very very important very very essential um i had brought up the nature boy thing because it's like outside looking in, it's ridiculous, you know. Um, a lot of us can agree that uh, it don't take all that, but at the same time, it, it gives you it gives you a little bit more insight to some some hiccups that may occur when you when we talk about communalism, because there there is actual deep seated hate within the black community that needs to be addressed. Um, is that the proper way to address it? Probably not, but again, we don't. We don't, we're not inside Nature Boy. We're not inside the individuals of those people that's out there. So it's like, the only thing we can do is be like, you know, that's kind of, that looks really messed up. You know, I highly doubt, you know, such and such and such. A, but, you know, um, just, I mean, some of y'all kind of, y'all should be able to kind of get what I'm talking about. It's almost like you grow up with a parent that you was being whooped or spanked. And then you grow up and then you're like, well, I'm not going to treat my children like that. But then our parents felt or thought that that was the best way to handle the situation, circumstance. So we also got to focus on having something for our people to join. Because when we, uh, like I was sharing before, like, well, we, we judge those who are trying to get out of the matrix and stay out of the matrix. And then we focus on taking them down. We are um, on a subconscious level saying that white supremacy is better. Stay, st <coughs> stay entrapped in white supremacy. Um, we're never going to have anything for ourselves. So the fight has to be bigger. Our, 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 um, the way we comprehend things, it has to expand more. We have to begin to really, truly, sincerely step out of ourselves and out of our reactionary state. And be serious about uh, what we are building, what we are joining, get, actually giving something to the people. If we sincerely are true about uh, sovereignty, um, we will make sure that happens. You know what I'm saying? We will be able to have a place that people will be able to go to. Because the whole thing with uh, what Nature Boy was doing is sovereignty and, and whatnot. And... You know, we we have something for to give to our people rather than say, we need to take your behind back to white supremacy. You know what I'm saying? With your self-defeated, uh, you know, it's not even about Nature Boy, really. It's not. It's not. It's about ha getting something established for your people. So when we do see something horrible, we actually have something that they can go to, you know. Uh, and I keep saying that over and over and over and over, you know. Um... It's interesting. I did watch um, one of the people who usually do commentary on Nature Boy. I think her name is S.L. Davis. And I, what resonated with me is when she was like, uh, I'm not trying to take the black man down, blah, 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 blah. I said, I said the same thing. Me either. And it's way bigger than that. People really need to expand more and further than that and look at it. Um, more than just a TV show, more than just drama. Um, truly sincerely explore options to actual uh solutions you know um sincerely detaching from um desensitizing ourselves i did a video on that too you should go ahead and watch it but desensitizing ourselves of our pain of our struggle 
you know. A lot of black people say shit. White men should kill us. We killing each other. Nah, nah. I don't I don't subscribe to that at all, but I do I do agree that we should push and work harder. You know, um but that's pretty much what I want to share in this video. I just wanted to this is this video was to further expand your consciousness and just realize that when it came to the Bible, <coughs> they actually some of that Bible stuff would really actually help us if we really are stepping into our awakening. I'm actually seeing um the puzzle pieces as they fall kind of come together. Just when they talk about uh, how the language got jumbled up and everything was confused, that was done by design of white supremacy as well. Just using the N-word and then having people who don't use the N-word. And then now we don't know how to meet uh, meet uh, with one another eye to eye because then you got you got the upscale Negro and then you got the, uh, the Negro from the hood or the projects. And so it makes things confusing. It does over overly complicate things and uh go against us from um love and self uh black love black love extremism it does kind of over complicate that a little bit but keeping that in mind and being able to uh be a little bit more open to working with your people you know what i'm saying and then just know being in the knowing that somebody who might be an upscale new girl versus someone who's been to the projects of the hood they they might <coughs> talk or move differently and just being accepting of that and neither one of those uh black man or black woman um they they are it's both right you know you can't you can't tell them that they didn't live their life you know what i'm saying they didn't have their certain uh situations you know what i'm saying they they dealt with it the best way they knew who they knew how both of them there's no <coughs> there's no right or wrong it's it's a uh, love is understanding and overstanding. That's pretty much what it comes comes down to. Uh, we have to continue to make sure we're aware of that. We need to continue to visit that. Like it, it should be, it should be as uh, focused as waking up in the morning. You know that's how serious you are about black love extremism. Um, meditational, very meditational. <clears throat> so. That's what I wanted to say today. Um, thank you for tuning in to the content. Uh, we do have a website and also a cash app. Our website, please join the kingdom. Become a member. www.kingnobleblacksupremacy.com We are also on cash app. Make sure uh, you financially support the kingdom. Dollar sign, Will Black 5. Again, join our website as a member, www.kingnobleblacksupremacy.com, and also financially support the kingdom as well. We are on Cash App, Dollar Sign Will Black 5. Black peace, black love, light, King Noble Black Supremacy. Give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you comment, subscribe, and share.